Hi and welcome back to Intentional Interruptions on our final mini-series on the work of the Spirit. And today we're thinking about the confidence that we have in the Spirit. You see, the spirit of adoption changes everything. Have a listen to Galatians chapter 4 with me. But when the set time had fully come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those under the law that we might receive adoption to sonship. Because you are his sons, God sent his spirit of his son into our hearts, the spirit who calls out, Abba, Father, so that you are no longer a slave, but God's child. And since you are his child, God has made you also an heir. Adoption changes everything for us. Not only can we cry out, Abba, Father, but actually we can have complete confidence. Let me tell you about two areas of confidence for the Christian believer evangelism. When you read the book of Acts, you see that confidence, don't you? In the book of Acts, you see a supernatural confidence that comes when the Spirit comes upon them, and that is a continual filling and one-off blessings and fillings of boldness as well. You know, there is a huge opportunity to reach out during this time, and we need to make the most of them, and some of us are scared, but we need to realise that Spirit will give us confidence. But you know, the confidence that we have from the Spirit isn't just a supernatural confidence, it's a confidence that also comes from our status. You see, because I've been adopted into Christ, I am His and He is mine, I know I'm free to share the Gospel. I don't need to be afraid of anyone. It doesn't matter if someone rejects my message because I'm God's child. So I think the Spirit gives us confidence in evangelism. But secondly, and this is so important for us at the moment, the Holy Spirit, through his work of adoption in our life, gives us confidence in terms of eternity. And that confidence in terms of eternity is amazing. Think about it. If we've been adopted as children by our Heavenly Father, then we will live forever with him in heaven. And you know, I think the COVID-19 situation is making death and dying a lot more difficult. Um, I think it's coming far more often. And of course, when people are in hospital now, we can't visit them. And for some of us, that has caused real anxiety and anguish. But what we need to understand is that actually the believer is not alone. That actually the spirit of adoption means that the spirit is with us and we can see and know the Father. And just like evangelism is both supernatural and status related, so too our view of dying and eternity. I think there is a supernatural grace for those who are dying. We often say, don't we, that God doesn't give us the ticket until we need to get on the train. And for some of us in those times, we need to trust that God gives a supernatural strength, a supernatural grace as we face eternity to cross the River Jordan. But as well, it's a status-based one that when we come to death and we watch our loved ones die, now from a distance, we can look to their status in Christ, realise that the Father has lavished his love upon them, and that now death is but sleep. It's not a coma where they might or might not come out of it, but it's sleep where they will always come out of it. When they close their eyes in this world, they will open them with the Lord, their Heavenly Father. So, something to do today. Why not step out in evangelism? Eternity is facing all of our friends and family. Why not share the gospel? And a song? Well, again, it's down in the comments. See you next week.